this is the Iron Trader. It is Tuesday morning and it is election day here in the U.S. Okay, so as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purpose only, not a recommendation by selling stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil daily chart, natural gas daily chart. Now, before we get started here, the API on uh, crude will be out here today at 4.30. Uh, it's all about the election going on here. Now, uh, yesterday we had a down day, so maybe we'll get turnaround Tuesday and we'll rip up here today. I know the Nasdaq's up here about 77 already, so let's see how it all shakes out. Okay, let's take a look here at the Okrutsky. Now, yesterday we had a high of that uh, 71.81. Uh, uh, yeah, 71.81. Today we had a high of 72.04. So what we're doing is we're looking at this uh, candle here yesterday, 71.92. We came at 11 cents. And now what we're doing is we're looking at this candle here at that 72.34 level. We're coming just a little bit shy here at uh, uh, 72.04, okay? So uh, if we can get above that, then what we do is we're going to come right to the bottom of this candle. That's going to be your next uh, resistance level here. You're looking at 73.26. And then we'll come up to the top of here. You're looking at uh, 74.45. And then we have that 74.84, which is your 100 SMA here. Uh, get above that, we have right there a nice target at uh, 76.24 and then 77.13 and then 78.46. Now, we do have that war premium situation going on here. We haven't had any retaliation yet from my Iran here to uh, Israel, but Israel came right out, says that there is a retaliation, they're going to hit them up much harder than what they did here the first time. So always remember that here, the retaliation, if you hit any kind of an oil facility or, or any kind of a power plant or anything, it could spike oil up right around very, very nicely, real, real quick, all the way up to that level there. Also, now OPEC's got their meeting there on December 1st, and they came out there. They're not going to add oil to the market. They are going to extend those cuts till next year and make a decision, and they might even be cutting uh, uh, production here. So let's just see how this is all going to shake out. Okay. So what we want to look at the downside here is this key level right here. This is what you need to hold on, hold on a closing basis. This is 71.12. That's your uh, 21 day. And then right below that here, we have that 70.96. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to go to yesterday's low. That's at uh, 70.25. And then we have this nice eight day at 69.94. Now you can see this eight day here is starting to round right on up here again. And obviously if this could go higher, this would push that, that eight day above the 50 day and 20 day, uh, 21 day. And that would be very, very bullish if you look at your uh, uh macd now your green crossed over your red that's always a very very positive sign where momentum going to the upside so we're going to see how that's going to shake out rsi here 52 well you kind of like a flat ski that could go up that could go down kind of a situation there's no divergences here uh but again when we look at this pattern here you still have a downing trending pattern see we have a, a high a lower high a lower high and so far we have a lower high if we can get above and close above this level right here that's 7234 and then we can reverse that pattern that pattern and then we can take it right back up here as far as the crude goes on high now seasonality still isn't in play here until really the first week of december but again you know when you have circumstances like wars and you have everything else that goes on here so um you know it, it changes the old pattern okay natural gas here well <clears throat> natural gas here well we're sitting here yesterday we had a huge engulfing candle i said watch that 21 day and that 100 day if it breaks the bull at 100 day we're going to go right down to that 50 day and it did not it held that key uh it went down to 2.514 and this is what we're looking for 2.516 okay that is your was your gap fill now this gap is filled and we had a nice good run up once you get above that eight day <clears throat> then we just look for that next target. So yesterday we had a high there of 2.795. <clears throat> Today so far, 2.80. So we were looking for this uh, right here, 2.794. And yesterday, 2.795. Uh, that was your resistant level. Today we went just a little bit above it, but now it looks like we have a red candle. We might come right on down. But again, if we can rally up again above that 280, then we're going to be looking right there. That 2.83 is next. And then your retest of 2.91 there, that would be next. Now we can just we can follow the candles up. 2.94 here. We have 2.983. And then there's your big target up there at 3.019. Now, I like how this here, this uh, price channel here now, is not on the way down. It flattened out here nice. So we might have a good trading range. On the downside here, what you want to watch is you want to watch the top of this candle. Okay, so you're looking at 2.72 level. That's going to be your support. And then we'll come right here to the blow of the next candle, 2.68. And then we have this 8-day at 2.67. Okay, so that's going to be your key support levels. If that's lost here, we have that 21 sitting right there at 2.55. We have that yesterday's low, 
2.51, and then we have the 50-day at 2.49. But let's just see if we can hold that 8-day. If we can hold that 8-day, uh, then we can have a good sideways uh, action here and maybe get it all the way back up to that 2.91, and then we can have a nice trading range going on here, okay? So yesterday was a really good day for the UNG. I sold out of that here at the after hours here because I'm not really crazy, a big fan of holding uh, natural gas overnight. Crude oil, yeah, natural gas, the winter maker that can do anything come morning, okay? So always remember that. Uh, they don't call it the widow maker for nothing. Okay, so it's for today, this is what we want to watch. You want to watch yesterday's high. That's that 2.79 level, which is right there. Then if we can get above, you know, like we did a little bit today, but we couldn't hold it, then we just go with the next level, and there's your big target up there at 2.91 level. Downside, eight days. Got to hold that eight day. That's going to be very, very key. If it does sell down, this could be a good buying opportunity to take it back long, and we can have a good sideways action. Or if this keeps on selling off, it'd be a nice short on the old cold KOLD here to take this bad boy short here down to that 8 SMA, okay? So that's what you're really watching there today. If that eight days lost, you got your target at 21 day, okay? If you can crack above yesterday's highs, then we have these targets and all the way up there. Very, very nice. Now, MACD looking very, very good here, okay? So your green is over your red, shows momentum there to the upside. That was because of that engulfing candle we had yesterday. And then uh, RSI, you're sitting at uh, 55 which we can go up or down. There's no divergences. There's no anything here to give you any kind of a tell. So this is just basically a trader's market. Okay, that's what I got for you there today. Um, now, I'll be back here at uh, Midday Trading, and we'll take a look at crude, natural gas, and then we throw something else in the old mix. Now, remember, this is going to be a very, very busy week here this week. We have the election in the U.S. here today. That's going to be very, very critical. But I think you know, no matter what happens, I think the, the market is going to rally here into the end of the year. That's my kind of thing because now the, uh, the uncertainty is kind of taken out. That's what you really are looking for is the uncertainty situation. So um, uh, just remember, we have the election here. The Fed is going to be meeting this week uh, to see if we can have a cut. Uh, uh, NVIDIA is going into the Dow there on Friday. That could give it a good uplift there. So a lot, a lot of action. and Plus, there's a lot of earnings coming out here. So you got to really, really stay sharp. Trade what's in front of you. Now what you want.